when you have a line, right? Lines are one dimensional and that they're move, it's a mark moving through space. But when that line, okay, starts, and then it kind of comes back around and reconnects with itself and it encloses an area, we call this a shape. And we can have geometric shapes, again, that are cookie cutter shapes, reproducible, universally known, da da da, okay? They're uh, usually made of angles and straight lines, sometimes a curved line, but a very unison, perfect curved line that makes something like a circle or an oval, okay? Um, and then on the other hand, we have organic shapes. So organic shapes can be unique, sometimes never reproduced or very difficult to reproduce because they're just found in nature, okay? So with organic shapes, it's easy to come up with an organic shape. You could literally close your eyes and just wiggle your hand around and reconnect to that line and it would count as an organic shape, right? Something that's, that's very unique and free form, right? So, okay, this is an organic shape super unique. It's, it's an area that has an outline to it. The line has reconnected. It's 2D, okay? It counts as a shape, right? According to definition. But it's a really interesting, unique, free-flowing shape that often is, isn't reproduced or universally known, right? So we call it organic, okay? And in the natural world, we usually see organic shapes everywhere, right, as opposed to geometric shapes. If the world was made up of geometric shapes, we would look like we live in Lego worlds, right? But we don't. Um, so again, another organic shape that might be more commonly known is maybe like the shape of an apple. So rather than a perfect circle, you can try to draw like kind of an apple shape. Or rather than drawing a geometric heart, which would be perfect like this, you could do something like very soft, okay? So basically here, you can even try to make something that looks like an interesting leaf shape that you would find maybe some kind of an interesting leaf outside, okay? Or like even coral. Okay, so this is the difference between organic and geometric. Anything that pulls on soft lines that doesn't look basically like a cookie cutter shape is considered organic. Okay, so here again, whether you do a perfect picture that's colored and developed or whatever, or whether you just created a cute little design, or whether you just, again, randomly illustrated a bunch of variety in terms of geometric and organic, just like we did with the lines above, you're correct. Just show me again that you can understand how to produce a variety of different geometric shapes and organic shapes. 